What's up? It's Rio Al. We're back and we're here for another video. Um, we're excited. This one's gonna be fun. Rio doesn't even really know what we're doing. She was just yelling at me because she doesn't really know what we're doing. But that's okay. We're going to be recapping, reviewing 2020 really quickly and just um, with a couple questions just for fun. Go! What was your mantra going into 2020? Be present. Do you feel like you lived up to that mantra? Mostly. What was your mantra of 2020? Mine was to choose joy. Do you feel like you lived up to that mantra? I do, I really do. Are you ready for the next question? Yes. Are you ready for the next question? Yes. What are you most proud of accomplishing in 2020? <laughs> Everything. Pick one. One thing? Pick one thing. I don't know. I mean, we ran a 5K all at once, all together. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Riding 33 miles all at once, that was cool. Your birthday bike ride, that was like really something where I was proud of that. What was something you were most proud of in 2020? In 2020, gosh. I would have to agree. Oh me, oh my, gosh. Stop. <laughs> I would have to agree, I'd probably say doing the 33 mile rocket ride was, I was pretty proud of that because yes. it was a Twice. lot harder, like it was like an event. If you haven't heard our experience with the rocket ride, we did a whole vlog about it. So I'll link it somewhere. I'll actually link it somewhere. Um, but it was like, we went into it and we're like, yeah, but it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And there was a lot of roadblocks along the way that we had to had got ran over. overcome. And it was really challenging mentally and physically. So I'm, I'm really, really proud of us accomplishing that. And that was like the beginning of like, that was like the first Yay. one. And like, now we know what we can do. What was your biggest accomplishment of the year? I know it's a similar question. Accomplishment but a versus different. something that you're most proud of. Well, my biggest accomplishment as like, I would say <laughs> is like getting, reaching that losing 100 pounds marker. Becoming a choose ambassador, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. My biggest accomplishment. What was your biggest accomplishment of 2020? I think mine was like hitting that 100 pound mark, but then also hitting 125, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> what is your biggest, something that you regret in 2020, your biggest regret from the year? I feel like we took full advantage of the entire year. Yeah. I don't have one. <laughs> well, almost getting run over, that was my fault, actually. <laughs> I thought about that yesterday on my way home. What was your biggest regret of 2020? The only thing that I would say, I don't know if it's necessarily a regret, but uh, we spent, I mean, I spent, we spent so much more time outside this year than I probably ever have in my life. However, now that it's winter time and like the weather sucks again, I'm like, I wish that I oh, would so have negative. like- Stop, I'm talk we're talking about a regret! The weather doesn't suck! Oh my god, the weather is cold! Okay. It's colder Period. outside, so it's not as fun to spend time outside. Sucks is subject- Stop! That was so rude of you! I hate you! You're officially out of this video! Get out! She's done! <laughs> done with this video and now for the rest of the video you're just gonna sit and stare at me now that the weather is colder and it's winter and the daylight um is not out as long i feel like i feel like in the moment just appreciating more the fact of being outside and being able to spend time outside in the and the warmer weather um now that it's colder, I'm like, man, did I really appreciate that much? I think I did. I think we did. I think we really did. I, we did. But now I just like kind of miss it a little bit. Yes. But I don't know if that's a regret. Next! Next. Based on what happened in 2020, what do you want to start, stop, and keep doing in 2021? I want to continue. You start, stop, keep. So what do you want to start I want doing? to start. Uh, well, I joined a tennis lesson section gym club <laughs> and i want to start playing with other people and like start playing in uh like the next league that they have coming up i want to keep all stop. i want to stop being mean to your sister thank you thank you <laughs> i want to keep keep this is the one that you've been wanting to talk about the whole time so what do you want to do i want to keep all my In 2021, I want to start. Why is all of our, all of our crap the same? In 2021, I want to start. So let this last year, we signed up for a golf league. 
and we had a lot of fun and I got really back into it because I forgot how much I love golf and so I've been like practicing and I want to start um, playing in like a competitive league or in tournaments. Stop! 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 stop. I want to stop. I want to stop spending so much time like mindlessly on social media, but not just like wasting time on it. And keep, I want to keep, I want to keep up with my exercise habits, uh, eating habits. Going plant-based was one of the best things that I ever did. And just keeping up with that, um, keeping up with just like all of my like refound like love for everything that we do, like everything. Yay. Working out, playing sports, doing fun things, hanging out with our friends. You said this would can. be five minutes and it's been. Yeah, because and I had to kick you out for six oh, minutes. Okay, next. <clears throat> what did you achieve this year that you didn't think that you would? Literally everything that I achieved this year, I didn't think that I would. As far as like the past two years, like I always think like, Oh, like, I'll be back to where I was. I'll be back to where I was. Like, I always just thought that I would just magically, magically get, there. <laughs> get there. And, like, I kept all of my clothes, obviously, since college and everything. And I always just thought that I would just go back to normal uh, just magically. I don't know. Um, so, basically, every single thing that I achieved this year, waking up for 5 a.m. workouts almost every single day of the year, completing 5Ks, biking, walking, running, starting running, um, everything in team training, <laughs> like I, everything that I accomplished, I didn't think that I would, mm -hmm. but we did. I would say the same because I remember specifically like in January of 2019, I was like, because that was, I had like in November of 2018, I had started to like work out again. So in January of 2019, yep. I was like, that this is it. Like, this is the year I'm back in the gym. Like, this is the year. And I was like, okay, I set this goal and I like wanted to lose hundred pounds. And then I Me just like, kept going and going and going and going and going. And I wasn't like actively doing anything to like, except for work. Yeah, you know, I went to, went to the gym three days a week, but I wasn't like actively like doing anything to like achieve that. So, and like, that was how my whole life had been. Like I would set the goal and I would make a plan and then I would never actually like put the steps forward to actually get there. We just so, went back to Kido over the next day exactly. and laughed about it. <laughs> so the fact that like I was actually able to like, and this year, like I didn't go into the year saying that I wanted to lose a hundred pounds and like just doing the things every single day to get there. And I'm like, holy cow, like we actually like, we actually did it this time. Like there's so many things that I'm like, we actually did it. I actually did it this time. And it's yeah. like, so cool. Mine, I said I was gonna lose a hundred pounds in February of 2019 on my birthday. We had started building like little, little, little. And I mean, it started in 2019, I would say. Yeah. I mean, it all, it all, it all built up. It didn't all just, but all it wasn't like, it wasn't happened. like, oh, like we told Bailey or, oh, you told yourself like, I'm going to lose a hundred pounds. And then we did, it was like, okay, it was in the back of your mind. And then it was like, cause we just knew that we needed to fix ourselves. We didn't, we knew that we didn't need to like losing a hundred pounds wasn't going to do anything for us. If we didn't like actually change what we were doing in our lives in general. Okay. Last one. What didn't you achieve this in 2020? that you thought you would. You didn't set any goals? I didn't have any expectations because it was all, I mean, we were gonna go to Germany because I wasn't like, my mindset wasn't even like, I didn't even have anything like, oh, like I'm gonna do this. But like, as we went on, I mean, every little goal that we made for ourselves, we like crushed it. Mm -hmm. But like, as far as like the whole <clears throat> year, I didn't have anything in mind. Oh, um, that's that what really cool. that's what we didn't achieve that we thought we would. We yeah. thought that we were gonna finish, finish improv, improv school, school and graduate and do, and a, do show. a show. Oh, that was gonna be fun. Yeah. And then everything happened, and this the school had to shut down, and that was really sad. Um. Yay! Thank you for watching our recap of 2020 and all that it was. Like this video if you think that Ree should get kicked out of every video. And Al should stop being emotionally stressed towards me. Well, if you listen to me and if you don't interrupt me, then maybe we'll be better off. What do you think? <laughs> Subscribe to our channel! Yeah!